A bone cancer survivor will join a billionaire on the first private SpaceX flight into space this coming fall. First, all, all civilians on board. Haley Arsenault is a physician's assistant at St. Jude's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. And I spoke with her earlier tonight. She told me at age 29, she could not be more excited for what's to come. Kelly, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, this is really such a cool story on many, many levels. Uh, so I can't wait to kind of dig into it a little bit. The quick backstory here, billionaire Jared Isaacsman is trying to do a massive fundraiser for the famous cancer hospital, St. Jude. $200 million, half of which out of his own pocket to fly up on this private space shuttle later this year, sometime in the fall, basically as part of a sweepstakes he says, hey, I have four seats, and I want to give these seats away. So that leads to my question. Tell me about that phone call that you got in January. Oh, yes, the phone call that changed my life. Um, so really, it came out of the blue. Um, St. Jude told me they wanted to talk to me about something. They had an opportunity. Um, I never imagined this is what it would be. But basically, they told me about Jared, how he's this incredible philanthropist, and and his idea behind this mission, how he wanted to use the first all civilian mission to space for good. And they asked if I wanted to be part of it. And of course I said yes, right away without even thinking. Um, but then after a few seconds, I was like, my answer is still yes, let me just tell my mom. Um, <laughs> and so I, I called my mom and I said, I cannot pass up this opportunity. And she agreed, she said, you cannot pass this up. This is once in a lifetime. And a few months later this year, you're gonna be in space. That is so just wild and unbelievable. What an opportunity. And I mentioned the St. Jude connection uh, with Jared Isaacman and the billionaire who's kind of financing all of this. But you have a very special relationship with that hospital on both ends. Talk a little bit about that. St. Jude saved my life. My disease is called osteosarcoma, and it's a bone cancer. I was treated there for bone cancer at age 10. And, uh, and when I got that cancer diagnosis, I, I thought I was gonna die. Everyone I had known with cancer at age 10 had died. And it wasn't until I got to St. Jude that I felt hope, and I knew that everything was gonna be okay. And St. Jude just made going through cancer such a positive experience. Um, they made sure that we had fun and I was still able to be a kid. And, um, and so I knew since I was going through treatment that I wanted to work at St. Jude. And that has never changed. All I've ever wanted to do is work at St. Jude. And last year I got my dream job. I'm a PA, a physician assistant with inpatient leukemia and lymphoma. And it I have the greatest job in the whole world. I get to work with the bravest kids uh, who inspire me daily. And I think, I hope this mission inspires them as well. As young as you, to do what you're about to do, how's that feel? But one thing I'm so proud of is getting to be the first childhood cancer survivor in space. Um, just because of, of this message that it's gonna show cancer patients and cancer survivors everywhere that anything is possible, that they can dream big because big things can come their way. And I gotta ask, are you not scared at all? Nervous a little bit? Honestly, I'm not scared at all. And I think it's because I've gone to SpaceX three times now. I've at this point met all the lead engineers for our mission and they know what they're doing. Um, I know that they are, we are in very good hands. And um, you know, I'm probably gonna have some butterflies walking into the spacecraft on launch day. But as of now, I'm not scared, just excited. Have you had a chance to talk to Jared himself and what's he like and what was that first conversation like between you two? And I was just so impressed. He he had this PowerPoint about his vision for the mission and how he wanted to use this first all civilian mission to space for good and to help these kids with cancer. Um, we got to meet in person the next week and, and we've actually traveled out to SpaceX three times now and he's incredible. He is, is so down to earth and genuine and and he's one of those just truly good people who's going to change the world. And I think Inspiration4 is the perfect example of that. I know we've only talked for a few minutes, but I can tell you have exactly the right spirit. Uh, I'm so glad you're getting this opportunity. Again, the backstory here is amazing. Cancer patient uh, to survivor to employee at St. Jude's and now on the verge of becoming the youngest American ever in space uh, in just a few months. Well, thank you so much for spotlighting our mission. And, you know, I just want to remind everyone that 
we still have two seats available. And they can go to the inspiration4.com website, donate any amount of money to St. Jude, and that can win them a seat next to me going to space. <laughs> Perfect pitch. Haley, thank you so much. Take good care and enjoy uh, everything that's coming your way. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks again. You can tell that, I mean, oh, wow. right, that energy that she has. I mean, she's, she could not be stoked. I would be <laughs> nervous and probably wouldn't do it. She's like, let's go, let's, right. let's hit it. Yeah. yeah, she's excited. She's got this infectious personality and right. everything that she's been through. I love that she's given back. Yes. Um, and that's an important part of the mission. But I think it's funny that she said, I might have a few butterflies day of launch. You think? Hello. <laughs> right. Um, no, I think that just shows you what she's been through. Nothing's going to scare her. And that's what she said. I've, I've already been through some yep. pretty rough days. So uh, her, her bravery meter is already pretty solid. Oh, that's in that's yeah. incredible. One to watch.